Hey Robot Builders, it's Braden from the Meccano team. I've got a cool new program to show you today called Codebreaker. We're basically going to be creating a code breaking puzzle for your mechanoid that has a funny result if you don't break the code. We'll be creating animations, using light animations, and setting up a lot of decision logic. There's a lot to do, so let's get started. Okay, so first off, we're going to create a couple of animations. The first will be what happens when the player gets the code wrong. I think I'm going to make the consequence a fart bomb. So here we go. Okay, I'm going to hold down the record button and... Oh no, that's not the code! Now I'm going to explode! <laughs> now let's rewind to the beginning so we can animate Mechanoid while he is talking, or farting in this case. The animation tool lets you animate in real time just by moving the control points. I'm going to make him wave his arms around a bit. And then I'm going to drive him forward when his fart goes off. Kind of like it's propelling him forward. Okay, let's save this and move on. You should name your animation something easy to remember, so you know what you'll be looking for when we're in the behavior builder. I'm going to call this one Lose. We also need to make an animation for when you get the code right. So let's start a new one by tapping New on the file pop-up. For the win animation, I want to do something different, animating the mechanoid's lights all over his body. So let's tap the Mode button and choose the light icon. This puts us in light mode. So you see in this mode, all the different lights on your mechanoid show up. If you have a G15KS or a G16 2.0, you'll see a few more nodes because there are more servos. I'm going to start by setting the eye light color. Just tap on it to set it. I'm going to make this color a nice bright green and then tap the check mark to set it. I'm going to move the timeline forward just a little bit so the next lights come on right after the eyes do. I'll tap the servo light node to set it. So you notice this one looks different. With the eye lights, we have about 500 different colors to choose from. However, because these are servos, we only have eight colors to choose from. I'm going to go with green. Let's tap the check mark to close. I'm going to go ahead and set all the servo lights to turn green at the same time. And that's all of them. And I want to make the lights flash, so I'm going to move the timeline forward and set all the lights to black, which just turns them off. And then one more flash, so I'll move this forward again a little bit. And set them all back to green. Okay, that's going to be good for this demo. You could combine this with some movement or add some speech, but I want to start programming, so we'll save this and move on. I'm going to call this one Win. Now let's open up the main menu and select the drag and drop programming environment. The first thing we're going to do is have Mechanoid tell us what the activity is when he starts. So let's drag a sound component under the start screen. Sometimes you'll already have a sound ready and you can just choose it from the menu. But for now we need to record a custom greeting. So let's tap on the microphone. And then the record controller pops up. Let's just hold down the microphone button and record a greeting. Mechanoid fart bomb activated. You have five seconds to enter the code. Now tap the file icon to save. We're going to call this one code intro. Hit save and select it. Okay, there's our intro with its title. Now let's set Mechanoid's eye color. For this code, the eye colors are the key. We'll set it up so the player who knows the trick can just look at the eye color to solve the puzzle. But we'll be trickier with our button choices so anyone else will be stumped. I'm going to start with a menacing red eye glow. Now let's add the first button choice. Let's pick a friendly button choice, something people are going to want to tap, like this heart. This is going to be the wrong choice, so we're going to make this color green. Remember, the right choice will match the eye color, so we can set it to green to throw people off the trail. Next, let's drag a timer on top of the button. This will create a combined component an action that takes into account two potential actions. Let's set the timer to five seconds and hit the check mark to close. Okay, so before we move on, I want to explain something about combined components. The green box contains all the elements of the combined component. You see there's two of them right there. You can tap the conditional statement to change it. So for instance, this statement says to do something if the hard button is pressed or five seconds pass. But if we toggle it, it's going to change to AND. That means it would only move forward if both things happen. 
Okay, so both of these choices will lead to a losing situation. So let's add the lose animation as the next action if either one happens. Here's the lose animation that I made before. I'll select that. Okay, so we have it set up now that if a player hits the button that does not match Mechanoid's eye color, or if five seconds pass, the fart bomb will go off and the program is over. I want to set it up so the player has a chance to try again right after they lose, so we'll make a loop. Just grab the arrowhead under the lose animation and drag it up here on the first component. And that makes a loop. So as long as you get the code wrong or run out of time, it'll keep restarting. Now let's also set it up so the player has a right choice. Drag a button right here on top of the orange arrowhead. So let's be tricky and choose a button that doesn't seem right, like the X. Remember, we are matching the eye light color we set to red, so we'll pick red for this button as well. Dragging the button onto the side of the combined component creates an else statement. So this is basically saying that if the player hits the wrong button or waits too long, then the fart bomb is going to go off, or else, if they hit the right button, it's going to do another thing. So let's add the thing that happens if you get it right. So this is a code breaker puzzle, not just a button press, so we're going to add a couple more choices. Let's start by changing the eye colors. I'll drag in the light component. And this time, let's set it to green. Next, we're going to set up another choice with a timer, just like before. I'll do this a little bit more quickly. First, I drag in a button. I'm going to use the X again to be tricky, because this time, it'll be the wrong button press. And close it. Let's drag in a timer, and set it to 5 seconds. We'll drag in another button. We'll make this one a heart, and set it to match the green eyes. We'll need to tell Mechanoid what to do if the player makes a wrong choice or waits too long. So we're going to loop back to the lose animation. Grab the arrowhead beneath this combined component and drag it on top of the lose animation. And now if you get the first choice correct, but the second one wrong, it will still play the fart bomb animation and then restart. Now let's add the third and final part of the code. Drag in a light component. Let's choose yellow this time and hit the check mark to accept the choice. Okay, so we're kind of running out of screen space. Let's nudge the behavior up the screen a bit by swiping up in an empty part of the screen. You can also pinch to zoom in or out. Try to keep the lose component on screen because we still need that to work with. This time I want to change things up a bit. Instead of showing a button choice on the screen, we'll use the mechabrain buttons. We can choose which buttons we want to make active by tapping them. Let's turn them all on and then tap the check mark to accept and close. Since this is the last step, let's add the win animation beneath it. Drag the animation component below the mechabrain component. Now it should connect automatically with the yellow arrow, and drag all the other arrows to the lose animation. Awesome, we're done! Let's try it out! So if something doesn't go as expected, just be sure to follow all the steps we went over in this video to try and pinpoint exactly what's wrong. I know this program was a little complicated, but I really think it's worth it. This is a very high stakes game. Be sure to be on the lookout for more videos coming from the Meccano team about even cooler programs we can make together. Well, I'll see you guys later.